What's up everybody, Maddie here at TSS Athletics, the strength shop. We got a buff and fluff day today, so I'm just going to show you something that you can do on a buff and fluff day, which basically an extra day, get a lot of blood flow, and uh, basically gimmick muscles, got your beach muscles, curls for the girls, stuff like that. Um, you can do it as a warm up on big strength days, or do it a separate kind of buff and fluff day, where you're just not going heavy, use it for, use it for therapy, use it for a good pump, and uh, just feels really good. So strength isn't the, uh, the theme of the day, it's just getting a lot of blood in there to feel really good. We're gonna start with some shoulders. I'm not gonna do full sets, but you'll get kind of an idea. Use a high incline, this kind of helps me take the momentum out by using the bench. Instead of, you'll see a lot of people doing kind of cheat laterals, there's a time and a place for that. But I'm gonna go full range and try and stretch up and out. And you'll notice how I'm rotating my arms here. Rotate up and back. And all this is something that you're going to get really high reps with. So I'm going to hit my shoulders really good. Boom. 10, 15, 20, 30 reps. I'm just using light like dumbbells. Then I'm going to go straight into a straight arm pull down. I'll use this attachment right here. You can use a different kind. Doesn't matter too much. Toy with it and see what feels best to you. Again, I'm keeping on that same high incline. This is going to, again, prevent me from using the cheating of the low back and getting momentum. I'm keeping control and I'm making my lats do all the work. Again, another high rep set, 15 or so. Boom. Really try and flare those lats hard as you get deep into the movement. And then I'll come straight into a high incline pull down. Again, you see no movement in my low back. It's all lats. I know this isn't a lot of weight, but it is really high reps. And those high rep days come pretty important for your therapy and the pump, the recovery. When you work out with old people. When you work out. <laughs> I just turned 39. My workout partner is a couple of years older than me. And this kind of well, stuff more, really, more than a couple. Really comes in handy. <laughs> Not every day can be PRs for how much weight you can lift. I've learned to kind of allow all those old YouTube videos kind of slip and the ego is gone. And I do what feels good. I stay safe and healthy. Boom. So that's a good little set. And then I'm going to also, if you don't have kind of a lat pull down machine there, using bands, excellent as well. The bands are even more versatile, so I can come here for a straight arm pull down variation, allow that movement. I can stand up here and pull back and really get that contraction really hard, and this will allow my stretch. So it's the same exercise, same movement, but a different range by adjusting my body position. And then I can come right back down here for the straight arms. Outstanding warm up, outstanding extra day active recovery work. I can come over and I can allow a stretch, hit a couple little flies. If I want some therapy internal and external rotation work, I can do that too. And come over here. I can work some biceps, and this one is good as well. Cross body, side raises, or however you want to call it. Rear delts. On these days, these buff and fluff days, we'll just do super high reps. We'll do sets. We'll do sets of up to 100, but not the same exercise 100 straight, but 20 of this, 20 of that, nonstop. So. They're all connected, front delts, side delts, rear delts, uprights, overhead presses. Um, so you kind of mix all that together. They're all tied together. You'll feel fantastic and you'll make heavier, bigger gains on the other days when you're designed to do it. So implement that. Hope you enjoy it. Comment, like it, share it. Appreciate it. See you later.